Welcome to my back porch little toddler table where I work on my caterpillars. This is where I do the work to get to this point right here. And that's what we all want to see, right? Are these big beauties in here? These are monarch butterflies. They just eclosed today. Eclosed, that's the fancy butterfly language for came out of its chrysalis. You see it's chrysalis right up there. And there's another chrysalis right over there that they eclosed from. And they hung up side down and pumped their wings full of fluid. And now these guys are ready to be released. But before we get to that point, we have to actually raise the caterpillars. So where do you find caterpillars? You find them on milkweed leaves. And in my previous video, I showed you how to find the eggs, you can also find caterpillars that way. It's best to harvest them as young as you can, including the eggs. That way you have a much less risk of their being infected by parasitoids or um, disease or just keeping them from being carried off by wasps and spiders and such. So what I do first is I go to a restaurant supply store and I buy a sleeve of cups and lids. These are little, just the little uh, three ounce cups. Three and a quarter, three and a quarter ounce cups um, that I buy with matching lids. And then I just take a push pin, put the lid on top of a pot holder, and I poke holes all the way around this little indentation, all the way around so that I get a lid that looks perforated all the way around like that. That way it's ventilated. I put my eggs in here. You can see the little yellow dots down there. Those are the monarch eggs. Then when they hatch out, then I start feeding them. And these are leaves from my milkweed patch that I showed you in my previous video. And so every day I give them fresh leaves and I get rid of the frass. Frass is another fancy butterfly terminology for poo. So you just get rid of the poo, little black dots down there, and, um, and give them fresh leaves every day. Once they get bigger, then I move them to a full mesh habitat. <laughs> Hello, little guy. <laughs> so he's a little bigger. Come here. Come here. They often curl up when they're pestered. He's not going to do that. He says, no, I'm awake. He's pretty cute. So, yeah, that's my little, my little monarch caterpillar. <laughs> He's just gonna be on there while we finish the video. Um, and then, uh, so I finish feeding them in a bigger habitat like this. Come on, zoom in properly. There we go, you see there's another little guy down there. There's five, I keep five in a habitat. And then what they'll do, let me put him back in there. There you go. And what they'll do, like these guys did, is they'll climb to the top, they'll hang upside down in a J formation, and they will form a chrysalis back there. They just become a chrysalis. It's like they, they shed their last exoskeleton, and what's underneath is a chrysalis. The chrysalis will harden, and there they'll stay for 10 to 14 days until they hatch out. Remember that word is called eclose. And uh, you can see back there I have one that still has, I think, yep, let me try to turn it around so you can see one back there that still has to be closed. See that? There you go. That's what the monarch chrysalis looks like back there. That one hasn't fully developed yet. Um, it's a few days younger than its siblings or cousins or whatever. And uh, But these other ones are ready to release today. But that's pretty much all I do, is I feed them fresh leaves every day from my garden, move them up to a bigger one where they can pupate nicely, and then when they hatch out or eclose, then I release them. So yeah, eggs, baby caterpillars, bigger caterpillars, <laughs> there he is, and chrysalis. Not cocoon, that's a moth. Butterflies just do a chrysalis. And then 
butterfly. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, let's see. Some of you may be wondering where you get mesh habitats like this. You can get them from, uh, from online sources like Amazon. Uh, you can also make your own. You can just take a two liter bottle, cut off the top, and start feeding your caterpillars in there. And then what you'll do is you'll just take a coffee filter and put it over the top with a rubber band. You could also do the same sort of thing with a shoebox um, or an aquarium that has a, a mesh lid. Um, all kinds of things. You could do a milk jug. You could do, oh goodness, there's all, all kinds of options. You could use a bowl for that matter. Um, but yeah, as long as you have proper ventilation, um, then what will happen is the caterpillars will climb to the top and hang upside down, and that's where they will pupate. And then you'll get these lovely butterflies. All right, hope this was helpful. Thank you.